Well, hello everybody. Mike Young here with today's Shopsmith. Must be the time of the year, first of the year, but uh, I'm getting a lot of uh, requests uh, about an issue that I covered, uh, I don't know, a couple of years ago uh, uh, regarding uh, uh, how the headstock moves or glides on the way tubes. I covered that in the, uh, uh, in the middle of a long video, I believe it was summertime, like say two years ago. But uh, because I'm getting a lot of requests and asking how come mine slides so free and easy all the time and theirs don't, uh, I thought I'd uh, uh, cut that part of uh, the video out and make it a, uh, a separate video of its own. Plus near the end of uh, this particular video I'm doing for you today, uh, we got a special celebration we need to, uh, to mention. So without any further ado, here's me talking about uh, uh, something you might want to look at. You've had problem getting your headstock to slide free and easy. I have people come up to me like at a live event that say, Mike, I've waxed and waxed my machine over and over and over. And from day one, the headstock has never seemed to slide or glide as effortlessly as yours. Well, if you're one of those that's actually waxed and waxed and waxed, maybe you need to go to the next step. And that's dialing in your tubes. Most people have never heard of dialing in your tubes. This is the kind of stuff you can't find on the internet. That's one of my problems with the internet. Dialing in your weight tube starts with loosening a few parts and pieces. This machine has a lift assist on it, so we need to loosen the eight bolts that hold the upper bracket on. Don't have to remove it, just loosen it. Of course, we'll need to loosen the weight tubes as well. Depending on how old your machine is, you loosen the two set screws that hold the weight tubes to the castings, both on the left side and the right side. On new machines, they're right here uh, on top of the casting, like this one. Uh, older machines, uh, you're going to have to access them from underneath. So you need to raise the machine up into drill test mode, and you get to those set screws pretty easily then. Make sure that the uh, carriage is unlocked and the headstock is unlocked. Well, once everything is unlocked, I'm going to put a little mark with a felt pen on each one of these tubes. You see that? Because when everything's loose, you can now literally turn the tube, dial them in. You want to turn eighth at a time. Run both the headstock and the carriage down the rails. You got an area that binds, keep trying to dial it in until you spend enough time dialing this in, you'll notice that the bind is gone, or your headstock just seems to move that much better. And make sure once you're done dialing in your way tubes, you lock everything back down. Make sure these way tubes are locked on each end, the two set screws on each end. If you've uh, disconnected or loosened your uh, lift assist, lock that back down. We don't want any surprises down the road. Well, there you have it. Uh, like I say, you're still having trouble after you've whacked everything. Try, uh, like I say, dialing in those weight tubes. Uh, what I didn't get into uh, a lot of is the fact that uh, most of those weight tubes are uh, cold rolled steel. And as round as those things might look, they're not perfectly round. So that's what causes some of that binding sometimes. So give it a try, all right? And with that, we give you a little uh, public service announcement too. Today's Shopsmith with Michael Young is the show dedicated to the do-it-yourselfer, hobbyist, and shopsmith enthusiast. Every episode is filled with advice and practical tips and techniques for maximizing your woodworking results. See how to improve your projects both large and small by increasing your tools capabilities while improving your woodworking skills, skills that lead to quality and results. Visit today's Shopsmith with Michael Young, watch an episode, and then subscribe to this channel. Subscribers are always the first to see the latest trends in woodworking for the home hobbyist, up-to-date information that can impact your woodworking results, as well as practical woodworking solutions for your home workshop. In addition, subscribers are the first to be introduced to the newest Shopsmith innovations, products, and inside information about everything Shopsmith. So I threw that little uh, commercial in there, uh, mostly for uh, 
uh, what was mentioned at the end of that about uh, showing you uh, new products from Shopsmith. Uh, that leads into something I mentioned uh, end of the year video that I did that uh, I'm now able to offer you people watching these videos uh, memberships or a Patreon uh, members, all right? This is the kind of information, new products are coming out uh, that you will receive uh, if you are going to become a, uh, a member or Patreon. Uh, these will be private, in other words. Still don't know exactly how that all works, but uh, if you're interested in knowing uh, things before it's released publicly, uh, you might want to uh, consider that. If you think you'd be interested in that, leave me a comment. Say, yeah, I'd be a member. I'd be a Patreon. Uh, that's how we build these channels. That's how we're able to uh, continue to uh, do more content uh, that's relevant to, you know, what we like to do, and that's work on our shopsmiths. So with that uh, said, now it comes time to uh, do a little celebration. It's hard to believe that uh, the Power Pro uh, is as old as it is. Yeah, it was uh, uh, over 12 years ago, I think we're in our 13th year that the Power Pro was first uh, introduced to us. Uh, a major, major upgrade for certain. I was the very first one to take it out into the public, as a lot of you came and saw in the, the lows and what have you. Of course, uh, big changes were, of course, the control panel, uh, way, way, way uh, different. I love this thing, it's very intuitive. Uh, people have a tough time, uh, you know, thinking it's different than the speed dial, but it is. Of course, I still love that uh, old Reeves drive because it always worked good. But it worked good only as well as it was maintained. And that's the key. Of course, the Power Pro, it has entirely different internals from the motor, the control panels, all that. Of course, before the Power Pro, the biggest upgrade you can make was the, uh, the big table system, going from the 500 to the 510 and then the 520, which was the, the Pro Fence. With that table system, of course, you could handle the biggest of materials. <coughs> Important on the Power Pro, is the name, the Power Pro. This thing is a powerhouse. I don't care what you're trying to do on it, uh, cutting the heaviest of oak, uh, the maples, doing kind of drilling, uh, heavy work. Uh, the thing is just a monster. What makes it that way is, of course, the, the way more torque. Uh, if you're doing routing or shaping all day long, uh, yeah, we could do it on the old machine, but we had to labor through it. Not a problem anymore. Of course, the fine tuning with the speed control and all that makes things like turning way, way more fun, especially if you're new at it. If you haven't seen my uh, demo on how to learn how to do lathe turning, look that one up. Uh, but it, it's an incredible uh, product. It, uh, like I say, is the greatest, biggest, single best improvement ever made to the shopsmith, uh, without a doubt. If you haven't got one, you can get one. Do whatever you can get. You can get a whole new headstock like this, or you can upgrade your old one. There's the components right there you're looking at that you actually reinstall into your old headstock. But again, it is a true powerhouse. Talk to anybody who's got one, they'll tell you the same thing. So there you go, just a quick uh, video to uh, number one, make sure that headstock's sliding uh, free and easy. Uh, if it's not, do that dial-in trick, all right? And then to, uh, Wish the Power Pro a happy birthday. Uh, don't forget, if you want to see a uh, Mark 7 demonstration, that's for those who might not have one, uh, I do still do uh, every week uh, full presentations via Zoom. Uh, to get to those, you just go to the Shopsmith website and you register for the date and time that you want to uh, participate, okay? When you do do that, by the way, you'll also receive some a significant uh, discount on uh, anything Shopsmith. Anything catalog, I always discount for those that are registered in, in a, one of these presentations. So for now, I'm Mike Young, and again, this is today's Shopsmith.